Hey everyone, welcome back to Nanotemper Technologies Application Academy and the PR Stability Analysis Software Tutorial Series. Again, I'm Lindsay Dawson, an Application Specialist with Nanotemper. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about our key parameters option built into the software. Now, up until this point, we've been able to analyze our individual samples and understand the variation in detail between sample sets. Now let's say we want a way to compare these samples to one another. We know that we can accomplish this by applying our sorting function that's built into the data table that we've covered in our advanced options tutorial. However, let's say that we now wanna be able to compare multiple parameters all at one time. Well, this is actually really easy to do now in our PR stability analysis software, simply by selecting our choose key parameter option. By selecting for this option, you can then pick which parameters you're interested in monitoring, and the software will then generate a visual representation of these parameters for you to then be able to quickly make a comparison of those parameters and how they're changing from sample to sample. Let's go ahead and walk through an example in the software. So for this data set, let's say I wanna make a comparison between our first inflection point and the onset of aggregation. So to do this, I simply click on our choose key parameter options and select for these parameters. Once I hit apply, we can now see two charts that are displayed directly below our data table, which are plotting the columns of the parameters that we just selected for. Now, to make this comparison even easier, I'm gonna go ahead and sort our first inflection point by clicking the sorting function in our data table, and we are gonna sort from low to high value, and now we can notice how our two parameters are changing based on that sort. So we can also notice that these charts are pretty interactive. So if we just hover over one of the samples, we can see the sample name is now highlighted. And if we click on a particular sample, it actually becomes highlighted in both of our key parameter plots, as well as the corresponding data point on the chart. So now we can see where this specific sample lies within both of our key parameters that we've just chosen for our analysis. And this again is to help expedite your analysis of these particular parameters that are of interest to you in your workflow. Lastly, similar to our add region of interest analysis, we also have the ability to create analysis templates for these region or key parameters. To do this, we'd simply select our analysis templates, type in a name for our given key parameter options, and then hit create template. We can then apply these templates to future data sets to then quickly apply these key parameters and allow you to, again, visually sort through and compare these parameters as quickly as possible. So that does it for key parameters. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and please, as always, let us know if you have questions and feel free to join our Explorer community to join your fellow PR users. Thank you.